Hey YouTube, it's Brickspranz and welcome to my second video on this series of monuments and statues for LEGO cities. This time around I got this uh, knight's statue for you guys. It is about two or three minifigs high. Yeah, well, and it has this standard knight with a sword and a shield there and I actually um, got the inspiration by this figure in the uh, city of Bremen in Germany and you can see here this is the Nile Roland that they have there on the central square and this is a statue of, well, of an old knight who fought in Spain. Roland was a paladin of Charlemagne and there are statues of him in many cities in uh, Central Europe and this one in Bremen is actually the oldest one. The statue has been a symbol of liberty and freedom ever since. And all of that is reason enough for me to uh, try to reconstruct it and put it somewhere in my city. So let's have a look at some details of the statue. You can see he has a sword. I used one of these larger swords. And he has a shield, a golden shield to his chest. So uh, notice that he doesn't hold it in his hand. He just has it somehow attached to his chest, which we can also uh, see here. So if you have a look here, the hand is actually by the belt and the shield is attached to the chest. Here I put away the fences around it so we can see the entire statue. Um, well, notice again here uh, the hand that is actually not holding the shield. You can see some shoulder pieces here um, and also the legs are quite interesting. I used these 1x2 modified plates or bricks, what are those, as the shoes. And I used uh, some wheels, some Technic wheels, and then these uh, little modified plates to make the uh, kneecaps. And both upper and lower legs consist of these uh, Technic wheels. Here we got the upper body, and you can see the shoulder protection, the spikes there. And also the head, which is a helmet. This is not consistent with the original. The original has a real head with hair and I just found that too difficult <laughs> to do on this scale. Uh, so I just made uh, a normal helmet. On top of the statue above Roland's head, there's a crowned uh, baldachin. Um, I constructed this in this way. I think it looks pretty nice. I did not succeed in uh, getting the same detail as the original, which is uh, more colorful. It has green and red in there and there are some additional details in there. But still, I mean, I think it looks fine. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. The back of the statue is a little more boring, right? There's only this stone wall there and I put some elements on the back there just to make it look more interesting. Yeah, well, that is uh, the Roland statue, um, as always. Feel free to leave some comments, like and subscribe and um, I will have four or five more videos on statues coming up. So uh, stay tuned and bye bye.